Yo, what is going on you guys? My name is Rewan. I'm a two-time world finalist, professional NK11 player, EVO champion, and one of the best Liu Kang players in the world prepared to bring you the one and only Liu Kang guide for Dash Fight. Before I begin laying down knowledge, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things fighting games. Stick around until the end of the video to see which character guide is coming up next. Alright, first things first, I'm going to begin by going over some of Liu Kang's best buttons. And by best buttons, I mean best buttons for pressure, best buttons for anti-airs, and just best neutral buttons in general. Stand one. Back one. Down one. Down three, back four, aka sweep, forward four, down four, back three. Now I'm going to begin to go over why I believe each of these buttons are the best buttons for Liu Kang. Alright, starting off with his stand one, it is his fastest punisher in the game with it being seven frames on startup and it makes for a really good stagger when it comes to pressuring the opponent, but the catch is it's a high. Next up is back one. This button is also a really good button for pressure. It is 9 frames on startup, so it's as fast as mid, and it hit confirms in a really good damage. Next up is down one. It is just a poke, 7 frames on startup, really good for getting out of people's pressure, and also really good for starting your own. Next up we got down three. I believe this button is his best anti-air in the game alongside stand one, but I believe this anti-air is better than stand one because it kind of low profiles, making his hitbox smaller. So the opponents jump in stand the whiff a lot when they try to jump in and you try to anti-air with this button. And this button goes pretty far in general, so it makes for a good neutral button too. Now we got back three. Uh, this is his only low starter in his entire tool set. Other than back three, he has no other lows that lead to combos. And it also makes for a good stagger if the opponent is not ready for it. But if they are ready for it, with it being negative 8, they can punish it if they have a 7 frame normal. Now we got Sweep. This is his best neutral button in his toolkit because it is his farthest reaching normal. And this is typically the only range you will want to even do Sweep at. Now we have Forward 4. This is notoriously for the entire game's life been one of his best buttons. It is a mid, it is 11 frames, and it hit confirms into amazing damage and it makes for a decent stagger. Lastly, we got down 4. This is one of his longest reaching normals alongside his sweep. This is strictly a neutral button and just simply trying to regain neutral control. So I'm going to go over Liu Kang's game plan and really how you should head into every match playing. The character is super oppressive. He has super good staggers. He has a bunch of hit confirmable strings into a bunch of good KBs. Um, you also want to throw a ton with this character because keep in mind he has throw KBs So you want to oppress the opponent make them scared to get hit right you want to make them scared to get hit Imagine getting hit by that you don't want to get hit by that, but then the moment they start to block you grab them So the opponent is constantly deciding between blocking or not blocking and trying to read the throw or trying to not get hit by the throw or just try not to get hit and then it opens them up to the throw and then you also have command grab so now they they just realize damn i can't even tech so that really is the game plan with Liu kang you want to make the opponent scared to press a button so that they're open to getting grabbed but at the same time they're so scared of getting grabbed now they're also open to getting hit so really it favors Liu kang either way he's such a good grappler and he's such a good rushdown character and also he has a ton of good projectiles honestly i would just chuck fireballs until the opponent even decides to get in because imagine how much health they're going to be taking before they even get to you and the moment they get to you you have all this oppressive rush down and all these grab kbs but yeah that's essentially just the the game plan for Liu kang when it comes to custom moves for Liu kang typically the best variation setup for Liu would be low fireball kasari slam and dragon fire for those who don't know what Kasari Slam is, it is a command grab, meaning if you get hit by it or get grabbed, you cannot tech it like a normal throw. Dragon's Fire is a damage buff, and it just adds extra damage to essentially everything he does. Now going over Liu Kang's best strings for pressure and offense, we have 1-2, one, 1-2-3, two, one, two, back 1-2-4, one, 2-1-2, two, two, 
two one two one. Forward four three and forward four three up three. The string is amazing because you can stagger the first two hits or just let the whole string rock and keep the opponent constantly guessing whether you're going to finish the string or not. Back one two four is amazing because back one is amazing stagger as I said before and if you do the whole string it is safe on block and if the opponent gets hit you can always just hit confirm in a bicycle kick. 2-1-2 is an amazing stream because the opponent has to guess if you're going to finish the whole string which is four hits and it's kind of hard to react to be honest to whether the opponent is going to finish it or not. 4-4-3 and 4-4-3 up 3 are some of Liu Kang's best strings because for one, 4-4-3 up 3 is plus on block so the opponent is stuck in block stun due to you being plus on block. 4-4-3 is amazing because not only is it really good on block but you could easily hit confirm it into bicycle kick if you see it hit. And like I said, forward 4-3 four, three, up 3 is plus on block, so if the opponent blocks that string, I would recommend just doing another forward 4-3. Four, four, now I'm going to display all the typical BNBs mid-screen and in the corner that you see all the best Liu Kang players doing and that you should also incorporate into your Liu Kang game plan.
So Liu Kang doesn't have many weaknesses, but the very minute weakness I can see him having sometimes is struggling against characters with either super annoying low profiling pokes or super long range normal such as Noob and Jade. But with enough patience and with you guys playing one of the best characters in the game, you could easily work your way around these minute weaknesses. That's going to wrap up the Liu Kang guide, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope your Liu Kangs level up tremendously after watching this guide. And you can check out all things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If y'all like this video, please don't hesitate to leave a like and comment below with your thoughts. I appreciate you guys for watching once again. And a bit of foreshadowing here, but my next character guide will be...